everyone and welcome to Master Tarot. I had a lovely sleep in and did a few chores this morning thinking I'd talk on January the 6th and I realized that the hearing isn't until 3 a.m. tomorrow morning our time. Uh, so that will be tomorrow's uh, reading. We'll be looking at the January the 6th. I had a lot of information uh, that I was thinking about reading on but I'll leave it till after the hearing itself. Uh, I'll run through that but best news over 300 subscribers so thank you thank you thank you love having you along for this journey and as promised i'll do a reading for um, one of my subscribers so if you uh, want a reading put a comment in uh, in the comments below i'll run this for the rest of the week and draw on the weekend just start uh, the word love or hug or light or an emoji like a heart or something like that i'll pop you all in a in a bag and pull somebody out for a reading. Now the way I do a reading is that I ask you to um, email me the question or questions that you have on a particular topic or, or associated range of topics with a little bit of a background blurb um, just so that I'm aware of, of the relevance of it or the um, spot it's sitting in in your space. I then do um, uh, as many card uh, pulls as I need to, however I feel that they need to be done, uh, however Meister tells me they need to be done. I meditate, I chat to Meister, and often after I've done the initial um, view of, of the reading, he will come back to me with more information as well. So I tend not to do live readings, I do them uh, in this method and what I do then is I send you photographs of uh, the actual spreads that have come out and a detailed blurb on the information that I've been given. So and then we can have a little bit of a back and forth if you want a little bit of a follow up in regards to any questions that might arise out of that. So please comment below and uh, and I'll continue this for the rest of the week and draw somebody out on the weekend. So that's very exciting. So thank you very much. What I might do is, there are a lot of January 6 questions I wanted to look at, um, but I won't do them today. I'll leave them for tomorrow and they may move further into the week. But apparently Cipollone, uh, the January 6th committee, has said that Cipollone's testimony has not contradicted anything that's come out so far, uh, which is quite damning uh, because he was the inner inner. Um, Bannon has declared that he wants to testify to January 6th committee. Um, so he wanted to do this live. I don't think they're going to do so live. I think they're going to actually record it because... Uh, we know what Bannon's like. He cannot be controlled if he's live and he will go off tangent, something atrocious one would suspect. Um, he also was trying to get his criminal trial regarding his subpoena delayed so that he could uh, meet with the January the 6th. The judge has declared that that trial which starts on the 18th, so next week, is not going to be delayed. Um, because his claim of executive privilege is not valid. We also have the Stuart Rhodes, the Oath Keeper, you know, the one with the patch on his eye who, who shot himself in the face while he was doing a safety training course, uh, taking a safety training course. Uh, he has advised he will waive his Fifth Amendment right if he can also testify live, but I don't think that's going to happen either. But I won't look at those. Um, I, I suspect there will actually be two hearings. There's the one tomorrow morning our time and there is rumours that there will be another on Thursday US time which will again be uh, Friday our time so I'll cover that on Friday. I suspect one will be about the legal advice, the White House legal advice, the White House meetings. Uh, those similar to Cipollone who were in the inner circle and then there will be an, a second hearing in regards to uh, Trump's meeting with the extremists like the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers etc. So we'll see how that plays out. So what I want to cover today after that big waffle to start with is Sri Lanka. What now? Um, 
they're, it's all well and you know, all well and good to have a coup and overthrow the government, which was very justified. Uh, however, um, is is there a plan? Is there a leader coming forward? Uh, the country is in chaos at the moment. It is bankrupt. There is no fuel. There's very little food. Uh, where does Sri Lanka go from here? Is there somebody who will step up to the plate and lead the country out of this, or are they just going to um, descend into uh, civil war, every man for himself, uh, until another corrupt leader rises to the surface? We'll see how that goes. I want to have a quick look at the Nord Stream. I have possibly pronounced that wrong. I saw it, thought of it and saw it late last night. I did uh, write it down, but in somewhere different. Um, the Nordstrom uh, gas pipeline from Russia to the west, apparently that's due to be uh, closed down for its annual maintenance. Um, but will it be started up again? That is the question. We'll have a look at that. Might have a quick look at the UK with Boris and see where that leads. If we get time, because we're up for six minutes already, I might have a look at the, um, what have we got here? Uh, the SCOTUS with Moore versus Harper, which is putting the voting rights back to the states. And uh, Robin Storwell Perquet, P-O-Q-U-E-T-T-E, if you wanted to Google it, uh, was the um, Arizona County recorder, is it Coomer or, or um, Coomer County? She had combined voter registration when she was in power in the electoral admin, election administration. So um, those two groups were no longer independent. Apparently she uh, took a lot of the mail-in ballot off the table for the 2020 election. So people who thought they would be mailing in their votes suddenly were told, tough bickies, that they don't um, qualify anymore. You have to actually go and voted a polling booth so a lot of people got caught on the hop there she has stepped down and i do wonder what's going to be the next step for her whether she will be arrested on some sort of voting fraud or something to that effect so if we get time but first of all i want to have a look at sri lanka i'm going to do two methods today i'm going to use my gilded tarot royale I have some new cards on the way which will be used for these sorts of readings rather than my standard. I couldn't help myself, I bought two new packs of uh, tarot cards the other day, waiting for them to be delivered. But Sri Lanka, what now for Sri Lanka? I'll do a full Celtic cross and then I'll use my intuition cards and have a little look and see what they tell us. But just what now for Sri Lanka? What now? What what now for Sri Lanka, Master? Thank you, thank you. What now for Sri Lanka? They've had the coup, they've overthrown the government, the country is in disarray, it's all very well and good to have a go on the gym equipment and jump in the pool and eat what's in the country, uh, the presidential palace, Pantries, but where does it go? What now? What now for Sri Lanka? What now? What comes next? The energy's for now. The energy's going into the future. What's next for Sri Lanka? Okay, we'll see where this card leads. Sorry I'm taking so long to shuffle. Sometimes Meister takes a bit longer than others. Um, the Magician. Manifestation. Manifestation of possibilities. There is endless possibilities at the moment for Sri Lanka, but it can also be manipulation. So I'll just see where that's leading us. So, Meister. 
Sri Lanka. Energies now into the future, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Okay, thank you. Sometimes it takes a while to shuffle. Come on down, let's have a look. So we've got the magician as the signifier card. Two of Pentacles, they are at the country itself, is at this crossroads. Financially, physically, it is a tightrope um, that they're walking on. They have, in the country, there's a, a, an important decision to be made for its future financially. There are two ships out there. There's only, you. It, this signifies two ships. There is only one visible on the storm here, but it is very much about what ship is brought into harbour. So we have this absolute possibilities for Sri Lanka. Huge possibilities. Huge possibilities of a powerful future going forward, but also of manipulation. And they are at this crossroads in regards to this point in time. Base of the reading, Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving help. They're going to need help from overseas. I'm, I, I'm being told China stepping in. I'm hoping it's India. I'll have a read on that. But they do really need uh, assistance to get out of this pickle they're in. If you don't know where Sri Lanka is, it's quite a large island off the um, southeast uh, of India. Used to be known as Ceylon, uh, used to be major tea growing. The reason it's ended up in the situation it's in is that A, corrupt governments that were stealing all the money for several decades, but also they were very much a tourist country. And with COVID, the tourism has uh, ceased, which means that the country could not uh, pay its bills. Therefore, it, it wasn't buying in uh, artificial fertilisers to grow the crops. And therefore, as the, the volume of food wasn't being produced and it just turned into a vicious spiral for the country. In the past, this is the coup. A lot of information, a lot of messages coming forward very quickly. This is the coup itself that's taken place. It is in the past. They're now having to take the next step. <coughs> the death card doesn't necessarily mean death. It means a very significant ending, a death and rebirth of the country itself. Also means authentic reform. So this is going to be a tricky period for um, Sri Lanka. It is in a period where uh, there is very significant endings to rebirth the country in a different form, but a very um, the opportunity for authentic reform. Near future, delusionment, um, disappointment. There will be an offer made. Sorry about that. There will be an offer for assistance made. They're not particularly happy with what that offer is. Uh, they are disappointed, but I don't know that they have a lot of uh, choice at this time. So there is going to be help coming in the immediate future. It's not going to be to the extent that they would like, but I th we'll keep reading. I think they're going to have to take it externally. Um, can be wish fulfillment, but it can also be the smug merchant. And I think what's happening is they're being, yeah, I keep getting China. I don't know. I do know why. Um, it's prime for China to move in. Uh, but I'm really hoping it'll be India or, or another country such as that that actually assists Sri Lanka out. Um, but this is, they're being eyed off for what, they can offer what can be made from them. You've got here, this is the, the innkeeper toasting. Um, yeah, 
just trying to think how to put that master he'll tell me in a minute internally there is this need for um, okay internally uh, government religion religion government it's not chaotic so there may very possibly be some someone coming to the fore who will take control internally these are the systems hopes and fears temperance moderation and balance rebalancing respite restoration that's a really good card i'm actually liking these two cards together but it is about a restoration of sri lanka outcome page of swords there are going to be some harsh truths that are going to come forward, um, some messages of truth, but there's also this, the youth are going to come forward in determination with the truth for a new beginning, setting out on a new journey. So the change, it's going to come from the youth. Nine of Wands, setting boundaries, really important in regards to this, that Sri Lanka actually sets boundaries. Things are going to be chaotic and happen very quickly. And then we have this patriarchal energy coming forward. Slow and steady night, new beginnings, new beginnings. A lot of work going on behind the scenes, setting a new foundation. So from that reading, I think it's actually going to be okay. There is going to be this figure that comes forward that leads the country. I think it's going to be more of a youthful figure uh, that is at the truth. So I'm not getting, I'm actually not getting bad cards for Sri Lanka. I'm quite pleased about that. Um, the only thing is, is they are at this crossroads. And I think they are being uh, eyed off by overseas interests. So I'm quite positive about that. I'll have a quick look using my intuition cards just to see where it leads. I haven't got a time frame on that, but I think there is going to be a patriarchal figure that will come to the forward, to the fore that will stabilise things. Um, I haven't really looked into it. If anyone's in the region, please let me know. I think there are going to be offers on the table to help the country, but it does need to set boundaries as to what that off, what those offers um, entail. Don't sell, their, don't sell their soul, but I didn't see that happening. I saw that it, this is an opportunity for really authentic reform for the country. So we'll see where the intuition cards lead us. What's jumped out here? Overseas. So yes, there's going to be overseas assistance. I've got my cards upside down. I don't read upside down, in case anyone was wondering. There's enough. I was... Uh, my very, very first mentor, who is now one of my guides, um, explained to me that there are enough negative cards in the decks without uh, reading uh, cards in the negative. So what comes out is meant to come out in the order it's meant to come out. So, yeah, I'm seeing... Oh, what's popped out again? Love. Okay, that's interesting. Overseas and love. Tell me about what does the future hold for Sri Lanka, Master? Future for Sri Lanka. Too many flew out. I it's just poor shuffling. I'm getting I'm getting so many cards in this deck now. Thank you, Master. Okay, let's see where we go with this. So we've got overseas love. Let's see where it goes. Rainbow. U unity, acceptance of diversity. Just the rainbow at the end of the of the storm. These are great cards. Plus key sun these are really positive cards so overseas love will unify the country 
be the rainbow after the storm plus the key of full illumination. So I think what's going to happen, it comes back to that he was only a page, but that page of swords is there needs to be full illumination of what has gone on before. Illumination in regards to the rule. So there's going to have to be full exposure of the truth of what has gone on before is going to be key to this for Sri Lanka. This is good. Okay. Working together. Let's keep going. Working together. The past good. Okay, let's see. So we've got here the rulers, fear, abundance has flipped. But this is my for good, my angel. It's not my devil. Okay, so there is someone coming forward from the past who will pull the country out of its depths. They are, and they are this figure here that will bring this to fruition. They're, the rule, so what is being exposed in the rule, people were going to be horrified at the abundance. But that's ended. That has ended. It's been flipped. Going to be horrified, fear, just <laughs> shocked at the abundance of this rule and the rule. Okay, families, full. Oops, I might need one more on that. Oh, might even meet, need some more on that. I might just... We'll, we'll work on this first and then I'll draw some more on the end of this. So we've got the families. It's going to be all about uh, the families, intergenerational, um, working, this working together. It's, it's going to be full in regard... Filled up, filled up. There is going to be hard financial times going into the future, but there is going to be this rebuilding via, I'll keep going with this, I'm not sure what this card is, we'll see what Meister brings up for me, strength and growth. Okay. So what I've got here is uh, still not sure about this card. I might see what this is the death of. But this is about the future. Rest in peace as it's rebuilding. Via the Via the division, growth, strength, growth. So rebuilding, there will be growth. However, this is my greed and avarice, my um, overindulgence card is going to be very small. It is going to be difficult. And I don't know that those that are responsible are going to be put into jail for what they have done to bring this the country to its knees in poverty because they've they've fled overseas this is the alien they've moved the money overseas the money is not there anymore yes <laughs> on the world stage there will be There will be anger on the world stage in regards to this. <sighs> About how the country was drawn down. It has, a, it has a huge future for the people in the technology industry. And then I get the blank card, which means the future is not written. 
the future is not written. So what I'm really getting from that is it's going to be okay for Sri Lanka. It's going to be really difficult uh, in the short term. There's a lot of, um, there will be a lot of poverty. Uh, there will be an overseas party that comes to, to help. Uh, the money that was stolen is, it's gone. It's overseas. And sadly, those that have put Sri Lanka in this position will not be brought to account. They're gone. The money has gone. I just want to have a quick look to see what this, this card means. So I'll use my small Rider weight tarot cards to just do a drawing on, on what this rest in peace meant. What came before the rebuilding card? So I just want to see what it what it means. Tell me about this rest in peace card, please. Rest in peace in regards to the rebuilding. Rest in peace. What's this rest in peace card mean in regards to? Basically, my death card. Oh, authentic reform. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Some days I'm a bit slow, Master. He just put it out there. Authentic. This is my death card. Authentic reform is part of the rebuilding of Sri Lanka. Okay. That was fabulous. So, yeah, it, it's going to need overseas help. It is going to get overseas help. It's not going to be necess necessarily happy with the help that's offered. Um, somewhat disappointed. Make sure you set your boundaries up in regards to what is given away in regards to that help. But the future is looking bright for the country. Um, it is going to be difficult short term. There is going to be poverty. But... Someone is going to come to the fore. Sadly, those that put the country in this position are not, from what I can see, are not going to be held accountable and the money that they have stolen is just simply gone. So, but, heart, rainbow, growth from the plant, the rebuilding card, the authentic reform card twice now, um, yeah, I think it's going to be okay. So that's good news. Now, I want to have a look at the... Uh, not, no, I'll have a look at Boris. First of all, did read... I've been reading endlessly on Boris. Um, I have learnt that uh, in the UK, the um, sitting Prime Minister does not step down until they have... A, uh, until they elect a new leader, which I find very interesting. In Australia, we, we are based on the Westminster system, which is the British system, our parliament. But what would happen if the Prime Minister stepped down? The Deputy Prime Minister would automatically step up and into their place. So, obviously, they don't have something similar in the UK. Um, the Prime Minister, now, whether they have to be elected within the party they're all vying but tell me about tell me about uh, Boris Johnson tell me about Boris Johnson he's disappointed but he's still putting this message out he's trying still trying to be an inspirational leader he's still trying to if you saw his resignation speech, he took no accountability, no responsibility. Apparently it was everybody else's fault that he lost his position. Um, yeah. um, disappointment in the offer that's being made. Okay, what am I, how am I going to word this, Boris Johnson? Okay. Will, will the UK go to a general election? Will the UK have to go to a general election to get a new leader? I'm actually seeing that. So the current, the current, um, oh, 
murky underbelly is going to be exposed which is going to lead i was thinking of the party that he's the conservative party the tories um will they have to go to a general election there's going to be this really seedy underbelly exposed and they're going to have to retreat so will to get a change in prime minister will they go to a general election yeah they are going to have to go to a general election. I'm really seeing there's no one within the party suitable to step up. And what I'm thinking, so I'm going to leave that there. What I'm really seeing is what's going to happen is that the they're going to have to go to a general election and the other party, no idea what they're called, because um, they are, like most other countries, a major two-party system, uh, the non-Boris Johnson party um, is going to come to the fore and that's how they're going to get a new leader. I will just ask a yes, no on that. Tell me, Meister. Yes, no. Will they have to go, will the UK have to go to a general election where They're only my little cards, but what I've got here is actions with consequences. They're in a juggling act at the moment, and it is about um, the relationships, the contracts and relationships. So um, tell me, will the UK go to a general election and the Tories lose before the country gets a new prime minister? Yes, no. Will I go to a general election and will the Tories lose before the country gets a new Prime Minister? That's a yes card. Lighting a path forward. Oh, and then judgment. So to me, that is and a harsh truth coming forward. Sorry, I'll bring you down to follow these through with me. They're only tiny little cards. Um, yeah, so things are going to be under review. It is an inevitable ending. Things will be judged. Harsh truth will come forward and then new beginning. So to me, and then there's the tower again. So t um, telling me, yeah. They're going to have to go to a general election and the current party that I think has been in power for 10 years or something like that, or longer, uh, is going to, to go before the other party is going to come forward before they um, get a new Prime Minister, is what I'm saying. So we'll watch that with interest. Uh, very quickly, last question, the... Uh, Nordstrom, um, I've probably pronounced that wrong. The gas pipeline, the major gas pipeline that goes from Russia to Western Europe is about to be closed down for its annual maintenance now that uh, the area is in summer. And will it be restarted? Ooh, interesting question. Don't know how long it closes down for, but tell me about the gas pipeline from Russia to Western Europe. It's about to shut down. Will it be restarted? Will the West want it restarted? Tell me about this gas pipeline. 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 Will it be restarted? Shut down for maintenance. Will it be restarted? Will it need to be restarted? That's what I'm being told. Will it need to be restarted? Tell me about. Tell me about this gas pipeline. We'll run through this one. Will it close down for good? Will it close? Closing for maintenance. Will it ever restart? Close down for maintenance. Yes, it will restart, but not in the short term is what I'm being told. Tell me about this Nordstrom. 
will it be restarted short in time for winter? Will it be restarted in time for Northern Hemisphere winter? All right, let's see what we've got. It's under review. These are what they've thrown out at me. Under review. And there is some diplomatic negotiation going on that is currently going on but is not being revealed. So it is uh, under review as to yes or no, do they really need it? Are they going to really need it? And there is diplomatic negotiation going on. Okay. So this is telling me no, 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 and that they are looking out, that the West is looking elsewhere for assistance worldwide, making a plan to do without. Moving on. Yeah, I, what I'm getting, okay, so what we've got here is that It'll close down for maintenance and it will, this is about disappointment in the harvest, this is about under review, this is um, reaping what you sow and there are diplomatic negotiations, possibly by uh, a, a, the centre of which is a female, I don't know, let me know if you know anything. Um, but it's not, there are, there's negotiations going on. There is going to be quite a um, surprise exposed because um, this cup is covered. It's the only cup that is, that is covered in, this, in the deck. Um, so she has something to bring to the table, calm, diplomatic, that has not yet been revealed. So if we go to the second row, I haven't really done that. I haven't done a spread like this before, but this is how I was told to do it. So the second row we've got is loss and disappointment. Now I'm drawn to the fact that there is this body of water and, oops, sorry, I'll just lift you up slightly, get a little bit more light on it. There is this, this disappointment and the body of water across the sea. So I'm thinking that, um, this is from Russians, Russia's point of view, that there's going to be this loss and disappointment. They still have two cups standing, so they still do have some customers, but I'm thinking the West is, is going to move on. This is due to uh, self-sabotage, really, by Russia. Self-sabotage, betrayal. Uh, this is uh, taking the truth and stealing it. And that um, the West is looking at alternative plans on the world scale, around the world for alternative options. They are moving on from Russia. They are moving on from this um, corruption, etc. Now, I'm not sure whether this is Russia or the West, but this is out in the cold. No, this is Russia. Thank you, Master. This is Russia. It's going to be cast out in the cold, physically, financially, through these actions that it's taken. It's going to be discarded. Uh, there is going to be a lot of despair within, the, within Russia itself. Now, when we say Russia... Um, the Russian people don't have really uh, a lot of say in regards to these decisions that have been made by the those that are in power. These are also the oligarchs are going to find themselves uh, out in the cold and penniless. This is my authentic reform. So the, the West is rapidly going under this authentic reform. And there is a hidden agenda that has not yet been revealed in regards to this, this diplomatic world plan hidden agenda. There is things going on behind the scenes that we are not aware of.
aware of. But it is in regards to this authentic reform base. We have uh, an offer being disappointed in the offer being made um, in regards to Russia. She doesn't look a very happy empress, this one. So Russia is going to find themselves actually um, trying to make an offer. Okay, and the West is not going to play ball. The West is not going to play ball with Russia as the harsh truth is being f brought forward and, the, and uh, this gas pipeline comes to, to a halt. Okay, we shall see how that reads out, but things are going to be paused and seen from a different point of view. So I'm actually, we'll see how that plays out, but what I'm getting from that is that, um, no, very possibly not. The West is looking at alternatives so that they are no longer dependent on Russia. Oh, how long have they got? Uh, what are we, July, August, September? They don't have a lot of time, but there are negotiations going on behind the scenes already in regards to this. Um, and there is moving on plan coming to fruition. So we shall watch that with interest. I may be wrong. Uh, Meister always gives me the right cards, uh, but the messenger um, is not necessarily correct. But thank you for joining me. Don't forget to put a comment below um, at any stage during this week. And I shall catch you tomorrow where we shall go through the uh, January 6th reading, commission, hearing. Okay, take care, love and light to you all, look after yourselves wherever you are in the world, let me know um, how you feel, let me know if you've got any questions, and I shall catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.